Hi guys. Um, so I cut my hair. A lot has changed. I'm not pregnant anymore. I had my baby. He's over there. Um, so I wanted to come on here and update everybody or just do a little update because I've had like a lot of <clears throat> comments lately of like new people that are going through this process and that are, um, you know, having surgery soon or about or already had surgery and they just have questions and stuff and, um, <clears throat> So when I'm six weeks postpartum, I still have to have that jaw surgery. Um, so yeah, that's gonna suck. But other than that, these are, I'm so dry because I've been using retinol. These are the teeth. Now these are my permanents. That's why you can see like the, uh, what do you call it? Like the ridges and stuff. I didn't want so much ridge, but they gave it. And I also wanted a fang. And my prosthodontist was like, you're not gonna want it, but I still kind of do. I'm gonna talk to her about maybe having my uppers made again. I know she wants to remake my lowers. Um, for some reason, I don't remember why. But, um, yeah. So, I've had a lot of, like, frequent... I'm gonna go through frequently asked questions. So, like, right after surgery, they're gonna feel bulky in your mouth. The reason for that, like... These... I just ate a chocolate donut. These are very thin. You know, like... I ate a chocolate donut, that's disgusting. So these are really thin, right? Because these are zirconia, so they're very strong. But when you first get your temporary set, those are acrylic. So acrylics are easier to break. So they make them kind of thick and bulky so that they don't break because they also cannot unscrew them. Like for the first four months, they cannot unscrew them. If they unscrew them, it could interfere and interrupt with the healing process of um, the implants that are in your bone. Because while you're talking, when you do that, um, it's creating a vibration, which is creating bone growth around the implant. So that's why they say like they can't take them out for four months. Um, after, so they're going to feel bulky. They're going to feel like you have a brick in your mouth, but you get used to them. Um, I think the hardest part for me, it wasn't necessarily that they were bulky. It's when my gums started to shrink, I could go like, like there was a huge gap with these. There's not a huge gap anymore at all. But with those like, a um, when your gums initially shrink, there's a big gap. Um, so they're gonna be bulky. Um, another one is numbness in your chin, specifically the chin. So I had numbness in my chin. If you go back on my videos, I talk about it a lot in the beginning. I had numbness in my chin for I think over a month to where like, I couldn't feel it like it was I could feel my bottom lip but I couldn't feel anything here and then my bottom jaw hurt and the reason for that is because all of your nerve endings um, are in your jaw so there's a huge nerve that goes through your jaw I guess your bottom jaw so that's why that happens it does go away very rarely is it permanent like I don't think it all goes back. All the nerve endings heal themselves and find themselves and yeah. Um, what else? Eating again. <clears throat> I 
did not follow the rules and I ate whatever I felt comfortable eating. So like they tell you not to chew and stuff, but my prostodontist basically told me if you feel comfortable chewing, then go ahead. But if it hurts, if you have any discomfort, any pain, don't do it. Um, but yeah, and as far as like the temporaries being very fragile, they are. I literally was almost, I, I think I was already four months post-op. I was like getting fitted for my permanence already. And I actually broke the back tooth or the back two teeth off of my temporary set eating garlic bread. So, cause I bit down too hard and because there was so much space in between my gum and that tooth, it created like a bending and it broke. So, um, yeah, be careful. Because especially in the first four months be very careful because they cannot take them out like I've seen this hor this video of when I was doing my research and I was like figuring out if it was something I wanted to do um I saw a video of this woman and her bridge had broken like this and it was just like moving around and her dentist was like I can't do anything about it like you can try to glue it back together but like we can't take them out or something so I was scared but um, yeah, I'm so happy that my videos have helped so many people, you know, decide to make this really hard decision, which it's like, you know, if you have the cash to just put, you know, 55k out there, like, that's awesome. But like, I got mine on payments. And it was scary to like, Am I going to like it? Are they going to look right on me? Is it going to look better? And now when I look back on all my other pictures, I'm like, oh my God, how did I walk around with those teeth from before? Like, how did I not look like this <clears throat> before? So it's crazy. Um, you know, investing in yourself is the biggest thing you can do. It's been a huge confidence booster for me. Um... And yeah, I'm glad I did it, you know, going through life with pain and, you know, kind of hiding your smile and not being able to laugh like how you want to is really sad. And I remember, you know, not being comfortable with my mouth and like people being like, oh my God, you're so beautiful, but your teeth, like it was horrible. So if you're thinking about doing it, definitely do it you know figure out a way I mean if you think about it if you get Starbucks every single day that's five to seven dollars a day and there's 365 days in a year you know so do the math and make it work you know you can figure it out where there's a will there's a way and mine will be done I'll be done paying mine off this December because we chose to do no interest <clears throat> or like the the minimum amount of interest possible so my teeth will be paid off in December of this year so they will be paid off in two years so my payment's really high but um if you have to do it you know in a more lengthy time then you have to do it in more lengthy time and yeah that's it if anyone has any questions always feel free to you know comment down below I always try to answer as swiftly as I can um I did just have a baby two weeks ago so might be delayed a little bit but most of the time I'm able to <clears throat> Um, for everyone that just had surgery, um, congratulations and, uh, I pray you have fast healing and, um, for those who are about to go into surgery, make sure you buy a lot of ice packs, have extras on hand, um, make sure you 
have Arnica. Arnica was a lifesaver for me. I had no bruising, very minimal swelling. Like I think I was good after like 10 days or maybe even less than that. I think my swelling started going down way earlier than that. Um, but I had no bruising. That was really important because I see people that just get bruising. That's horrible. So Arnica, you know, ask your your team but usually arnica i mean i've done it with other surgeries and stuff um so take arnica jellos i mean i think in the beginning i survived on like jello and soup which i mean i lost some weight too so it was fine um <clears throat> so if you're having surgery soon good luck don't be afraid like there's nothing to be afraid of with this procedure even if things don't go as planned, um, you know, with bone loss or whatever the case may be, um, in the end, you're going to have beautiful teeth. So, yeah, thank you for coming back and supporting my channel. And, yeah, have a great day.